At Moscow's Levada polling center, workers continue surveying the mood of the country even as they try to process their own bad news. Russia's Justice Ministry has named this non-governmental organization a foreign agent just two weeks prior to parliamentary elections. Staffers worry they may be forced to shut down, and they say the decision is potentially devastating. We are dealing with a very powerful propaganda machine, and our work at least creates some counterweight. A recent poll from Levada suggests more than a third of Russians believe not only that the elections won't be fair, but that voting would be useless. While pro-government parties are expected to emerge victorious, many observers believe authorities are nonetheless attempting to censor voices like Levada they perceive as critical. In 2012, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a law requiring all nonprofit organizations in Russia that receive any amount of overseas funding and that are involved in political activities to register as foreign agents. Now, Russian officials say that law is necessary, that it guards the country against foreign meddling in internal politics. Critics, however, disagree. Levada, which is considered more independent than two other state-run polling centers, is not the first institution to have been targeted. It's been going on since mass protests of 2011 and 2012. The regime tightened control over NGOs and independent research centers. For its part, the Justice Ministry denies such allegations, telling Al Jazeera in an email that the Levada decision was based on the results of an unannounced document check that found the organization gets funding from overseas sources and participates, in the interest of its overseas clients among others, in political activities carried out on the territory of the Russian Federation. Analysts say the government is indeed waging a campaign against autonomous organizations like Levada. This is, I mean, one can say, a war of attrition on autonomous civic activism in Russia. Uh, rather than shutting down, uh, the government uh, forces non-government organizations to brand themselves foreign agents if they refuse, and they, all of them refuse, um, then uh, they are fined. Worse, say some, is the stigma caused by the term foreign agent. To many ears here, that is essentially the same as being called a spy which means it's a very complicated time at Levada, faced as they are with so many questions about their future while they're still asking questions about the future of Russia. Mohammed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera, Moscow.